Hey guys, welcome back to the Simple Ground Homestead. We are excited to show you what we've been doing inside the house. We've done a lot of hard work. So, yeah, let's go inside and see what we've done. So things are looking a little bit different since the last time you've been in here. Um, since the last video you've seen, we've put in the framing, the electrical, the plumbing, and the insulation, as you can see here. We've been making huge strides, and we haven't caught any of it on video. We were focusing on getting the job done, and I just really didn't know the best way to capture it all. So, you get it this way. You get the grand tour. So we'll start off looking at the framing. It really was a simple step, and Audrey and I were able to do it rather quickly. You know, the rounded shape of the structure did cause a little bit of trouble, especially in the loft area where we attached the loft um, up here. And here's some good footage of it. Uh, we had a rim joist along the back, and we had to attach our joists, and, you know, there are multiple angles there. The hangers that the engineer prescribed were meant for 90 degree angles and so we had to find some other relatively expensive hangers to make these sharper angles on the edges. This is the top of the loft here you see. We went ahead and put down regular OSB. We just painted it. Looks pretty nice from up there. The large beams weren't too bad to put up and they ended up looking really nice. I'm really excited to see the finished product. Next I'll show you our plumbing. This is where the water heater is going to go, and not necessarily much to look at. Water in there, water and gas, and that's the vents. We were unsure whether we were going to do electrical or plumbing. Uh, we decided to hire out the plumbing and do the electrical ourselves. The guys who did the plumbing did a fairly good job. Not too much to complain about. Not the best work that we've ever seen done, but it was really fast and there wasn't much for him to do. We had the bathroom and this kitchen island here will have some water in it. That's about all. Setting boxes and running wire for the electrical is fairly simple except for all the code involved. Man, what a thing <laughs> with so many uh, rules about where to put staples and where to hang boxes and how many circuits to run. Look at how many circuits I have in this little box. So many circuits. And of course having it off-grid makes it very different. I have this uh, smaller breaker here on the side as a main breaker <laughs> because I'll never meet that 100 amp breaker that uh, the box was um, designed to carry. Oh, I'm glad that this stage of the electrical is done. And believe it or not, we passed the inspection. I actually set you guys aside and stopped making videos in part because of the stress and the energy I was pouring into this part of the project. Wow. So let's talk about insulation now. We hired somebody to install our insulation for us. We opted to go with the rock wool like we put in the ceiling. We just really like this stuff. And now we hired somebody to do it because we found out they could install all of the insulation for less money than it would cost for us to just buy the insulation. So no brainer there. Now under the house, after they installed the insulation, they put on this plastic. Doesn't that look really nice? It makes a nice finished look and hopefully it'll help keep some of the pests out and any other problem that might happen. We're pretty pleased with the finished product. While we're outside looking under the house, I'll show you the rough in for our gas. We, of course, are hiring somebody to take care of that too. I'd hate to ever have a problem with a gas line leak. We'll be running our water heater, our gas range, and a little wall heater 
off of this propane system. The biggest reason we have a little heater on it is to meet code. It was required by code to have a heater that is controlled by a thermostat. Our wood stove wouldn't cut it. So we just found the cheapest solution that we could find and we'll be installing that heater as well. Those uh, hoops you'd have to jump through, right? Hey guys, I was editing the video and I noticed that I want to add something to the end of it. So I scrapped my original ending and I'm jumping over to showing off the shipping container that we bought. Now I'm not going to show you inside because I want to save that for another video. But uh, the front part of it is actually our power supply room and the electrical that, that's going to be powering our house comes under the road and over to the house on the other side. Uh, it's exciting to me because, you know, delivered, this was $3,000. It's a solid, rigid, uh, strong, long-lasting room. Uh, it's a lot of square footage for the price. Pretty excited about all of that. And the county allows for a single one of these without any extra permits or anything, so... It was a really slick and easy deal. So, yeah, right? This also happened since the last time we showed you an update on all of this. Now, coming from editing the video, I know that it's not my prime work, but I hope it'll give you a flavor of what happened in the crazy mad rush since you last saw an update on the yurt. Really, um, we had a little bit of time there where we were pushed for time. We had to jump through some hoops before a certain period of time and I just couldn't break my brain away enough to actually record any quality stuff. I'm not a videographer by trade, so it takes a lot of energy to do anything quality. And so it just fell by the wayside. Nothing really happened. Maybe here in a little bit we can do a question and answer video again, Audrey and I, and we can walk you through the yurt and hit some uh, more fine points as you guys have them. So if you want to see anything in particular, uh, put them in the comments below. Maybe we'll do another question and answer video here in the near future. Anyway, uh, better end the video here. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you are new to my channel, welcome. We've been having a lot of new activity lately. Thanks, welcome. Take a look around. Uh, we have some other good videos. And of course, don't forget to give us that thumbs up. Subscribe to see what's coming on next. Anyway, thanks as always for watching and thanks for taking this journey with us on Simple Ground.